guys. All right. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Doing great. Oh, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa, I'm Smith. Uh, we need uh, four shots of whiskey. The good stuff. Yes. All right, thank you. You having a good night? Can't complain. Love it. We're having a great time. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. So... Oh, a little convention action. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Here it is. What to what to good business and good fun. Yeah, fun. That's that's the most important thing. Yeah. Hurry up. Melissa, sweetie, can you please give another round of drinks to these fine fellas? It's on me, of course. Yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> Welcome to town, gents. What brings you here? We're here for the uh, Home and Garden Convention over at the Golden Wagon. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm Smith. Uh, this is Mark, Sullivan, and Patrick. Hello, yo. My name is Joe. Joe Allen. <laughs> what can I tell you? Local bar fly. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, here we go. Wait, where, where's yours? I'm good for tonight, trust me. I exceeded my limits. You sure? Yeah, just drink up. <laughs> All right, to Joe. <laughs> All right, to Joe, to Joe. <laughs> Melissa, please, another one. Oh, no, 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 we're, we're good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Listen, guys, house has been good to me tonight. Let a brother buy you a couple of shots. Don't make me feel bad for celebrating here in my lonesome. <sighs> yeah, 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 all right. All right, this one's to Joe, our new bro. Drink Joe. up. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? Oh. Let's do another <laughs> round on good old Joe, and then I'm going to let you gents go back to your end. How about that? Uh, thanks, man, really, but I am shot. Oh, come on, no wussing out now. How about this? We do one last round, and then good old Joe will give you a little bit of candy. Hell, I'm in on that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Let's it. Serious, please, can you give another round? Go ahead. Seriously, I'm good. Oh, come on. There's always the one guy, right? Right? <laughs> Cheers. All right. And Melissa, sweetie, can you please make sure our little friend Patty over here is all right, while me and the rest of the men go to the back and do a little rendezvous? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, uh, get that thing. Huh? I like the way you roll, Smith. You and your guys are so much fun. Now, this ain't gonna be elegant, but. Hey, neither are we, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. I like that. All right. All right. Well, do it a second time then. Two times a charm. Right? There it is. Get it on there. Oh. Hey, Joe. Thank you, man. You made this night awesome. No problem. Oh. No, wait, wait, wait. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you. Well, we're closing soon. That uh, Joe guy, he's a real character, yeah. <laughs> he always liked that? What was that? Joe, he always liked this? Don't know. Ain't seen him here before. But you haven't seen him here before. Can't say that I have. He's been buying drinks for folks all night. Tips real well, gotta give him that. Good tipper. I'm, I'm just gonna go see what they're up to. Be right back. Sure thing. Guys? Patty? Is that you, buddy? Come on, man, you're missing on the party. Good old what his name is. He's chucking up his liquor. And what about the others? No, the others are f fine. They're over here. They're just down there? Yeah, behind the corner. I think they're taking a piss or something. I don't know. 
know how to party. Oh, Patty. You little fucker. Sleep there tonight? No, I'm The sun is rising in a few hours. Oh, How's your night? Oh, it's amazing now. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on! Oh, please! You have to help me. I was just coming by. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, I wanted yeah. to say hi, yeah. but. Of course you were. I told you to stay away, and of course you. Here you are. Come on. And I just wanted to see you. Oh, my. You have to help me a little. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Please, get in there. Oh, my God. This. It's good for you. Oh, uh, yeah. You're so pretty. What you did tonight was really stupid. Oh, please, who cares? Me? Your mom? Your sister? When was the last time you called them? Call your mom, Yuri. She's all alone in that castle. <coughs> and if you get sick, please get it in the wall and not on the carpet. Zaria. Daria! Daria! What? Come here. Are you sick? No, I'm not sick. No, listen. I was thinking, how would you like to die? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dead, remember? You're the one who turned me. No, I'm not like that. You know what I mean. Oh, you're just stupid. Go to sleep. You're being stupid. <laughs> the way 
I picture it is I'm standing on the hilltop and there's a sliver of the light far off at the distance. <laughs> and then this sliver of light just explodes in million sun rays and they break all over the mountain and they reach out to me and I feel the warmth just for a second I feel the warmth and then my body bursts into embers and gets blown away by the wind. <laughs> You're just being more bathed. Had some sleep. Sorry. Did I wake you up? Yep. How are you feeling? I feel like shit. Daria, I'm sorry about what happened last night. Yeah. Well, that was just really stupid. But that's to be expected, I guess. To be expected. Why do you always have to insult me? Because I'm tired of your crap. Can you do us both a favor and let me try to make this relationship work? You can't give back what you took from me. Yeah, I can. not But you know that that's the only way I could have you. <laughs> this isn't about you anymore, is it? We already did that. I can't. I just can't do this right now. Go home, Yuri, please, and then just leave me alone. What can I get for you? Well, I'd really like a girl like you. But for now, I'll have a whiskey. Neat. Thank you. Hey, 
funny guy down there. He's cute. Mm, he's a thirsty boy. There's another one for you. Thank you. So what do I do for the next two days while I'm here? Oh, don't ask me. I'm not from here, so. Yeah, you don't seem like you're from around here. Is it that obvious? Mm -hmm. The accent? Well, you know, I'm, I've been all over, and this just seemed like a great place to get away and leave some old baggage behind. And how's that working out for you? It's working itself out. What about you? Who brings you here? I'm just here for a few days for the conference. You know, it's a good break from the daily grind. Home and garden, you know, it's yeah. exciting stuff. I sell umbrellas. <laughs> I'm good at it. Joe? Yeah, it's me. Right. Hey, I got another pickup at the Golden Wagon. They're going the same way as you. Do you need another? Or have you finally had enough to ask me out yet? Nico, would you go out with me one of these nights while I'm in town? Well, it's last call, and I'm out of here in a few, so hasta night, but for you. Yeah, for sure. Hey. What's your room number? 613. Cheers. <laughs> so you there in half an hour? Yeah. Alright. Mind if we squeeze in? Yeah, come on in. Oh, that's snug. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We won't bite. I might. <laughs> <laughs> you could just drop us off at the Ranchero Motel. Hey, cowboy, are you gonna keep that all to yourself? Come on, man. Share some with the rest of us. Oh, what the fuck? Look, I'll share mine and you share yours. Dude. Deal? No. Excuse me, mister. Do you mind just letting us out right here? No, okay, hey, keep going. What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to be friendly, man. <laughs> Listen, you all go back to whatever you were doing. I'll leave you alone. What the fuck? Oh. 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 
diving girl will snap your fucking head off. Stop. Can you please keep going to my stop, that little liquor store out in Riviera? Yeah. Okay. You're doing good. <coughs> Just give it some time to kick in, okay? Fine. How long until you're there? About three minutes. Good. Just do that. Oh, my. Sir, please. I got a family. Oh, you do? Really? Yes. How many kids? Two. Boys? Girls? Two girls. Three and five. Uh, Hold on a second. What are you doing? Don't uh, waste it! Uh, Come on now. Do you have any tissues? Uh, Open your mouth! Uh, Come on now. Calm down. Uh, Just give it some time, I guess. Yes. So, yeah, what's your name? Joe. Joe, no way. We got the same name. Well, similar, technically, because my birth name is different. It's uh, Yure. But you Americans always pronounce it somehow like Jar. So, you know, I like being Joe. It's just like the best name, right? It's so simple, punchy, it's just like Joe. <laughs> It's a real guy's name, bro. So, did you, um, did you grow up around here? Yeah. Did you ever uh, travel anywhere, or you <laughs> just spend your whole life in this little <laughs> shithole? I traveled a bit. I went to the Grand Canyon. I took the kids to Disneyland last year. So, pretty much stayed close to home then, huh? Yeah. Uh, you, you see, I, I traveled all over the world. And I'll tell you this, I always lived pretty rural, but America's oh. rural, that's a different breed if you ask me. People here have this, what should I call it, um, rugged sense of uh, self-satisfaction, you know. I envy that. You all don't know much, but you know everything you want to know. It's just going through your days without thinking too much about it. I wish I can live like that. I swear, I swear I would. <sighs> going through your days without thinking about shit. <laughs> oh, man. You, you can pull over there. You see that dark spot? Yeah, just go there. I'm so tired. So tiring. Life gets tiring if you think too much about it. You get shit on. You get betrayed, people disappoint you. Hell, seems to me, all I do is I disappoint people. But in the end, all that it's for, it's for some memories. <laughs> memories. Everybody is just a few little lingering memories and then they fade away. Uh, traces of them left, nothing. But you are lucky, you know why? Because <laughs> Death just happens for you. Poof! And you are dead. No effort. Oh man, you, do you know how lucky you are for that? Yeah, you're lucky. Please, you don't have to. I won't tell anyone. Well, Joe, I'm sure you believe that because you, you seem like a nice guy. I can tell. But you will, and then we have a big problem. Because then 
What's going to happen is Novigrad all over again. No, no, listen, listen to me. Relax, Joe. Listen, listen. It's all good. It would be with police and with guns, and I'm so sorry I can't do that tonight, buddy. No, <laughs> not tonight. Daria already hates me, right? So I don't need to make that worse. But hey, hey, hey relax. Think about it this way. Think about it this way. Hey, hey, hey. No more struggles for you. No more empty time to fill. You just finished early. You, you haven't been drinking, have you? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think so. Hey, man. Do you guys carry any Balkan vodka? It's an import. I don't think so. Maybe on that shelf there. Well, you don't have it, so... I told you we didn't have it. Yeah, I heard you. So these will have to do. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Listen, it has just been one of those nights. You know what I mean? Are you Spencer? Yeah, that's me. You, uh, you, you Joe? Yeah, that's me. Hop on in, buddy. Oh, 
God! Damn, what a night! Oh. Have a couple too many drinks, buddy, huh? Oh, I'll do more than I planned. <laughs> Onward, Joe! <laughs> That's how I like it, man. Are you girls gonna keep partying or what's happening? Oh my God. Stars for Joe. <laughs> so you need a ride? I don't even remember calling. Oh, yeah. You had your name. So Bye, sweetie. sweetheart. Bye, sweetheart. You want anything? I can order some room service if you want breakfast or anything. That's so sweet, but thanks, I'm fine. I'll be out in a second. I hate mornings, and I like to ease into the day slowly. Yeah, sure. I know it's weird. No problem. Well, you know where to find me. Stop by if you have another free night. <laughs> yeah. Even after. No. <laughs> they don't call it Miskinic for nothing. <laughs> Drop by and we'll give it another go. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah, for sure. <laughs>
doing? You set up the whole bar for me? Oh, I had some time to kill. Really, oh, it's totally cool. So sweet. <laughs> How is your mom? She's getting better. Thanks okay. for asking. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you didn't go out last night. Why? What's up? There's some maniac out there. They're still finding more bodies. It seems totally random. Oh my god, that's just that's just horrible. The whole world's going to shit. I don't know what's wrong with people nowadays. I'll be back in a second. Victoria, it's Daria. I'm so, I'm so sorry to bother you. It's it's Yuri. He's he's doing it again, and I don't know what to do. Could you please call me when you get this? Hey, Nico. Hi. Wanted to see if I could take you up on that favor. Yeah. I just scored an interview at the Chateau, the Red oh. Room. They want to see me Sunday after I finish up here. Oh my god, congrats! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Do you need me to watch the kids? If you can. Of course. Like, what time were you thinking? Uh, like, six or seven. Um, I get a seven. Oh, okay. perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> They're gonna be at my neighbor Liz's all day, but okay. she's got my key. I'll text you her Okay, info. perfect. Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hey, Nico. Hey. So, uh, I can't get him right now. Really sorry. But it'd be like another 10 or 15 minutes. Don't worry, it's fine. Okay, cool. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? Mm -hmm. Just text me when you're ready. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, see you in a bit. Bye. Yeah. Can I help you with something, ma'am? No, thanks. I'm... You okay? I'm fine. Is it okay I'm back here? There's a visitor's lounge if you want. Oh, I'm just here meeting a friend. You know, her mom isn't doing well. So... That's nice of you. You know, her mom's name might be one of my patients. Um, you know, I actually don't know her that well. She's just one of my coworkers. I'm new to town. Same here. Just transferred in from Phoenix a few months ago. Hey, um, since we're both new here, if you ever want to meet up? Sure, yeah. That'd be nice. Great. Here, let me get your number. I'm Nico, by the way. Nico. I'm sorry, uh, I'm Raymond. <laughs> How rude of me. Dr. Raymond. Um... I'm actually free tonight. Oh, uh, I might not be done until midnight. I'm up late. 
It's actually the best time for me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> now getting there, you got sick people that need you. You're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Call you tonight. up as many as I could for you. Thank you, Eddie. And there's a little extra in there, because, you know, I really appreciate you hooking me up on such short notice. No problem. Um, do you want me to help you take that to your cart? I got it. Are you sure yeah. it's heavy? I got it. Okay. Thank you. OK. Coming. Well, hi there. You got it, call? Yeah, I'm the guy. She's 200 for the hour. Let's do, you know, two hours. That'll work. What's your name, sweetie? Cherry. I'll be right out here, huh? Come in. No, no, no. You ain't gonna stay out of there, man. Come on. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Not like that, dude. Listen, me and the girl, we don't need the whole place, just the bedroom. You know what I mean? Come on. I can get you some drinks and stuff. This way. Welcome. What can I get you? I'll have that one. Good choice. You got any Coke to mix up? Uh, let me see. Yeah, but it looks flat. You know what, though? I have this. Where did it go? Oh, here. This guy. Are you cool with this? Yeah, I'm OK with that. All right, help yourself. Make it a two? Sure. No ice. You got it. Girl likes it neat. Thank you. Hey, there's no reason this whole arrangement shouldn't be friendly, right? Salute. Salute. Oh, I like you, Cherry. You know how to party. Piss it over. Let me refill you. How was that? Wakes you right up. <laughs> All right. Shall we? Hey, I, um, I don't have a TV, so just chill. Feel at home. I'm good. Um, also, if you want another drink, I mean, it's right there. Sounds good. <laughs> See you in a bit. Hi. Oh. You changed out of your scrubs? Figured this was more appropriate. The doctor look was sexy. Not after a few surgeries. Even sexier. <laughs> Hi there. Can I get you a drink to start? Um, just the water, please. Are you good with your Chianti, sir? Yes, thank you. You don't drink? I haven't in years. Years? What are you, like, 25? Um, give or take a few. How is your friend doing, her mom? You know, she's she's good. She's OK. She's, you know, just getting old. And here you are. Thank you. Are we ready to order? Actually, I already ate. Um, I'm sorry. I couldn't wait. Cheap day, right? You mind if I? Of course. I'll have a porterhouse meeting where. We'll put it in for you now. Thank you. Well, to life. To life.
Quite a girl you got there. Oldest profession in the world. That's what they say. Good to know that some things never change. All right, baby, you want some? Here's some bubble for you. Hey, you got any more girls? Yeah, I got a few. Let me refresh that for you. I'm good, man. I'm good. No, 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 I insist. This is the best stuff. Import straight from my home. Uh-huh. Are you not gonna even try it? I'll get around to it. Sorry to keep you wait, but me and Jim, we had to do a shot. You know, boys will be boys. Gotta try this. It's really good stuff from my homeland. All good. I'll be right back. Wake up, we gotta get some more in you. Come on, drink, drink that. <laughs> so, tell me about your ex. Well, she said I wasn't exciting. Didn't have swagger. Wow. She actually wanted to stay together after that, but I couldn't. Of course, they always do, don't they? Ex wouldn't let go either. Talk about swagger. All he had was swagger. <laughs> we should pair them up. Seems like they'd be a good match. Maybe. <laughs> no, you know I would not wish you on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you Sunday, Dr. Raymond. <laughs> Is that your boy over there? Oh, my gosh, I completely forgot about him. Oh, you got his name. How formal of you. Yeah, I'm old-fashioned that way. <laughs> he was here last night looking for you. I told him you were in tonight. Oh. It is his last night here. That's oh, fun, fun, girl. <laughs> All right, Derek, right? And you're, that's exactly where it should be. Big Mike. <laughs> This is how I introduce Big myself. Mike. I go, oh, Big Mike. <laughs> you got some friends with you, huh? Hey, Nico. This is Paul and this is Greg. Ooh, she is real. <laughs> good for you, Mike. Well, good to meet you, fellas. What can I get for you? Uh, I'll have a tequila. Thanks, sweet. Lager. And I'll have a whiskey. I'll be right up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Gentlemen, I will be right back. Dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa. Oh, making me second guess my marriage, huh? Hey, what happened last night? So they came off, nothing personal. Um, friends from work? Vendors from the convention doing a little schmoozing, you know, the wine and dine business stuff. Plus, I didn't know if you'd be here, and I didn't want to sit here by myself drinking again. Well, I'm here tonight. You still on? Yeah, sure. Just don't get too many of these again, all right? <laughs> Come on. Oh. Get up. I'm up. I'm up. You guys are killing me. Not even two yet. Man, nobody can ride like you, Mike. Oh, no. <laughs> well, where are you going? Oh, Not even two yet. Party animal. <laughs> I'll be in touch about those orders. Paul, have fun with your hottie, big shot. Want to hear the play-by-play. -play. See you at the airport. All right, my man. Get up there and... <laughs> and there were two. <laughs> Last call. You good? Oh, I'm good. I'm yeah. going to finish this. Me too. There you go. No, man. Let nope. me get it. Stop. Let me get Stop. it. Stop. Let me get this for you, OK, man? Just give me a deal on those orders, OK? Nine and a half foot umbrellas, aluminum. So, Nico, got any uh, friends? It's my last night in town. I'm on your type, I'm sorry. If you think of anyone, hook a brother up. Absolutely. Is he upstairs? Yeah. 613? Got it. You're in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here. Victoria. Daria, give your sister a hug. Oh, it's been far too long. <laughs> Let me take your bag. You look more radiant than ever. You too, ravishing as always. This is a cute place you have. <laughs> yeah, cute, right? I bet Claudia's shoe closet is bigger. Oh, come on. It's nice. Well, thank you. Can I get you anything? Hmm, yes, please.
creatures? To family. Ah, oh, maybe not by blood, but you are by love. To family? Make yourself at home. Oh, I've been sitting forever. I made it just in time, didn't I? So how are you and Claudia? Claudia is wonderful. She misses you, of course. I owe her a call. Yes, you do. It would make her very happy to hear from you. We're in Greece now, a lovely villa in Kitanos. It reminds Claudia of Katagenia. The Greeks are in such a sad state of affairs, with refugees and strife. It's perfect for us. How is mom? Same as always. Rolled away in her castle. Mm, at this point, it's practically her mausoleum. She still keeps it up, though. I do love her beautiful Baroque decor. Stuffy, I say. She won't let me update it for her. <laughs> I think when Rikoko came around, she swore off new fashions forever. Then we know where your brother got his stubbornness from. Speak of the devil? What's he done this time? Same crap. I just started getting settled here, and then he shows up to ruin it again. He means well, Daria. He just struggles to think of others sometimes. Then he needs to move on. It's over. I will speak to him tonight. Don't worry. Everything will work itself out. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> you smell delightful. Is that your? <laughs> so? <laughs> <laughs> Fooled me. I just picked it up yesterday. Look at you. Awfully formal for babysitting. It's okay to move on. Find new passions. It's been so long. It's weird. <laughs> it's natural. I have no idea how any of this works. You have a choice now. You'll get used to it. Tell you any things. Of course not. It's none of his business. Just uh, don't tell Claudia about the choice thing. I don't want her getting any <laughs> ideas. I won't. <laughs> gonna get going. I will see you before I leave, right? Definitely. Come by my work if you like. I'll be there tomorrow. What's this? Claudia insisted. Jesus, Victoria, I can't. Come visit us and get some real Dior. Thank you, but I, I really can't, I can't. Dear, I know you don't like to ask, but we have to help each other out. It's how we survived this long. Find your own path, but know we're always here for you, Daria. Please, don't be a stranger. Thank you, Victoria. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, the kids are in the back bedroom. Thanks. Janet says you've been a real lifesaver. You have no idea how grateful she is. Oh, well, it's no bother. I mean, I'm home most of the days anyway. <laughs> Sophia, Mackenzie, your mama's friends here to take you home. They've already eaten. I know, we hate goodbyes. I know, you'll see them again. Say our goodbyes. Bye.
here. All right, you two. We should start cleaning up and then get ready for bed, okay? I sleep on the floor, so I don't know. No, you sleep on the floor. Oh my God! You can clean up. You can clean. You're helping. Yeah. <laughs> You're so adorable. Yeah, I got lucky with them. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get going. <laughs> Good night. doing here is this how you live now like a dirty pig what? why are you here huh huh this guy is turning you know that right no no no, no. Nick. damn it Vic Vic I was still drinking that Go and clean yourself up and put on some fucking clothes. Where do you put these things? It's out back, behind the fence. I'll fucking get it. They stink. So do you. Clean yourself up. All right. Nico, oh my god, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> I thought we were meeting at the restaurant. I was done early, and there's a movie I want to catch, so. If I'd have known, I'd have cleaned up. <sighs> Nonsense. Come on, if we leave here now, we can catch this 10 o'clock show. Come on, I want a good seat. <laughs> <laughs> what is this John Wayne look? John Wayne? It's not John Wayne, it's Rob Zombie, if anything. I don't know this. Zombie. It's silly. Well, it's better than whatever the hell you're wearing. God, I, why would you throw that guy out? He turned. He was fine. Did you see him? He had like two days left in him. I spoke to mom. She agreed if you do not clean yourself up, she's going to cut you off. She won't support you the way that you're going. You worry us, Yura. Great. Is that why you're here? Come stay with Claudia and me. You'll love it. It's beautiful, lively, and there's so many refugees washing ashore. It's like a buffet. I don't care. I'm not leaving. You can't keep chasing Daria around. Let go. Did you see Daria? 
No, look at me. Did you talk to her? If you want to ruin your life, it's your choice. But do not ruin hers, or ours for that matter. You're on the news. This isn't the old days. I know. That's what pisses me off. You're like dad. The only thing you care about more than us is yourself. Well, you're wrong, because I love Daria more than anything. Bullshit. If you really cared about her, you'd stop all this. Stop hurting her. And maybe you'll stop hurting yourself too. My baby brother. What am I going to do with you? No more talk of this. Come on. I've got a suite at the Royal Chateau. Stay in the guest room. I want to spend some time with my cowboy zombie Bob brother. Come on! How fucking stupid you are! Fucking horse shit! Fuck! It's not that bad. No. Well, just you. I swear, this stuff, <laughs> it never does it for me. No matter how much I drink, I'm still hungry. You've got to give it time and let your system get used to it. Please, let me ease into this. Ease in? You haven't even had one yet. Victoria, this is special occasion. When was the last time you and me went on a hunt together? Ten years? Probably. The Philippines, I think. <laughs> we can't. You've done enough here already. A couple of vagrants or something. Vagrants? Is that what you think a special occasion is? You insult me. 
Okay, some tourists. You can do that. Vegas is just a short drive from here. And you know what they say. What happens in Vegas? No. <laughs> How about a little spot off the freeway in the middle of nowhere? Come on. Me and you. In the good old time. You promise to clean yourself up? A million percent. I will. Are you sure? I swear I will. Find a good spot. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. I swear. <laughs> Follow your lead. Like you always do. We're just closing. We'll just have one drink and we'll be on our way. We'll make it quick. What do you want? A celebratory drink. I struck it real rich tonight at roulette table, so. We'd like to buy a round of drinks for the gentleman in this bar. Please, guys, whatever y'all want, it's on me. <laughs> Whiskey. I'll have vodka. I'll have the same. Cowboy shit. It will grow on you. Um, try this one. You do it. To a passion for life which leaves no regrets. For living with great passion is the only deed which can bring us peace in the face of mortality's spectre. Well said, sis. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me, can we please have another drink for our friend over here? Last one, we're closed. Hey, buddy, this is my sister. She's visiting from Europe. She's not familiar with your simple ways. I want that. Please. Do not turn away my brother's generosity. All right, all right, closing time. Come on, let's go, you two. We haven't even had our drinks yet. Look, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you two fuckwads to go. Of all the places, what made them move out here? Ah, she always liked the lights, you know. Times Square, Shinjuku. 
Vegas, you know, places like that. She said that uh, it's almost like having sunlight again. Hmm. Seems vulgar to me. Hmm. To me too, you know, but that's just one of the many things we could never agree on. You see, I just wanted a little simpler life for two of us, you know, to do some hunting, to make love. But Daria, <laughs> she just wants to be around people. I don't know why. You know, she never really had a stomach for hunting. She went on hunts with us? She'd have done this. Well, yeah, these guys, of course. She's really picky, though. No women, no children. <laughs> she wouldn't do it. Gets really mad when I do it, so. You know. Makes sense when you think about it. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, I, I can see her going after some little pet or something. I can see that, but mass of them? You really don't get it. Put yourself in her place. She had a family before she turned. She still holds on to that. Oh, please stop with that. You know what? That was so long ago. She needs to get over it already. Come on. Yura, she watched us do this to her whole family. Victoria, I saved her. Don't you think that I should get some gratitude for that? She would be dead long time ago without me. Me. Jesus, Yura, her kids, her parents, her husband, her whole village. You took that from her. That can leave a scar. Okay, how about you and Claudia? Hmm? She doesn't seem to hold a grudge at all. She didn't have a family when I turned her. You killed her husband. He was a dick. He was? Total dick. I didn't know that. Yes, you do. He was the Spanish viceroy, remember? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Those guys were dicks. Uh -huh. <laughs> he messed her head up so bad. She still has trust issues. Hmm. Which reminds me. Just letting her know what we're up to. Seriously, that woman, she thinks I'm always sleeping around. Her temper is ferocious. Is this the last one? Yep. We drain them all. Yeah. It's all just repetitions of repetitions, <laughs> isn't it? Round and round. Ups and downs. It's all pointless. Hmm. If you only think about yourself, sure. I don't think about myself. Listen, I gave everything to Daria. I treated that woman like a goddess. And you know this. <laughs> She's not a goddess. She's a person. Gods are what you make up in your mind. They're what you wish them to be. Daria, she is who she is. Not who you wish her to be. You know, you and Claudia, you have your art, you have your music, you have each other. I was just always this adventure guy. She was the only anchor I had. And now, I'm just drifting. And she set you both free. She's scared to think about. Little village girl, married off, raising a family, and then with you. Now she's all alone in this strange time. But she'll find her way, and so will you. Yeah, I guess she will. She's got a whole new life to find. I've been there, done that. Look at me now. What do I have now? I don't know. You have your terrible taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. You like this cowboy garbage? It's not growing on you? It's growing on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I won't let you become like mom. And I won't let you go out like dad did. You can't do that to us. We won't win that war. Not in the time that we live in now. It's not like it used to be peasants with pitchforks. <laughs> it's a strange time we live in. Nowadays, 
person can change anything. Religion, social caste, politics, hair, boobs, butt, your gender even. But the one thing we cannot change is the time we're in. It's not all bad though. Claudia and I don't have to sneak around anymore. It's been nice. You know, I was thinking, maybe we just keep going because we feel like our story is never over. Maybe I did have my happy ending. And now I'm just in the blank pages somewhere in the back of the book thinking what's coming next. There are no endings, Yura. It's just cycles. Listen, it's your choice. Destruction or creation? Vengeance? or forgiveness. And how about apathy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apathy. <laughs> Pack your bags tonight? I guess so. Good. Claudia already has the bungalow made up. She's excited to see you. All right, come on. I fucking missed you. Mm, missed you. Yeah. Nico. Mm. Nico, are you okay? Mm -hmm. You're cold. You wanna warm me up again? I mean it, you're... Then fix me, doctor. I'm sorry I can't make you breakfast. I seriously have nothing in the fridge. Don't worry. I'll hit up the cafeteria when I get to the hospital. Can I drive you in? Your car is still there. No, thanks. I'm gonna get some more rest. I'm sorry you have to go in already. I barely let you sleep. If I get tired, I'll just think of you, and that'll get my heart <laughs> racing again. <laughs> Really? Could you be any sweeter? You know, if you aren't careful enough, you might get stuck with me. I plan on it. <laughs> and I'm going to take you grocery shopping. We're going to get some good food in here for you. Or I could just keep eating you up. <laughs> you can't live on me alone. Sure I could. If you're going to keep me around, you're going to have to get used to me taking care of you. It's what I do. I've done fine this long, don't you think? Right? Even when the outside looks perfect? You'd be surprised what can be going on inside. I don't mean to pry, but that's what I do. I'm a surgeon. When was the last time you went to the doctor and got checked out? <laughs> About 10 minutes ago, if I'm not mistaken. Your low temperature, your pulse rate, they're not right. And your toothbrush, I noticed red on the bristles. Nico, it's not just circulation. You can't ignore these things, hoping they'll go away. You've got a long life ahead of you. And I want to make sure it stays that way. Let me check you out. Please. Sure. 
next week after work. Anytime. Thank you. I'm sorry. I know it's scary, but you've got me now. You're too good. Oh, you've got other lives to save. <laughs> you can be late. I'm gonna go wash up. See you tomorrow? I think so. I'll let you know. Can you take a look at this for me? Yeah, what's up? Need me to read those to you? Check out these lab results. These can't be real. Someone's messed up. actually works with me over at the bar. I think that she just got on shift. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. I'll show you over here. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Nico D? Yes. And if we ask you a few questions?
Is Nico D your full name? Yes. D E E? Yes. Thanks. I'm investigating the string of murders around town, and one of the victims was reportedly last seen with you. Do you know him? Uh, yes. He was a customer. We were told you went up to his room the night of his murder. He's dead? Yes. We found the body this morning in the desert outside town. Oh my god. The last time you saw him, was there anything suspicious? Was anyone else present? Oh. He's had a few drinks. Ah, uh, we had a little fling. No, he was asleep when I left him. He said he's flying out in the morning. Do you know this man? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Yeah, I think I think so. He he looks like my ex Joe. When's the last time you saw him? A few months ago, uh, since I moved here. A few nights ago, he showed up here drunk, and uh, right outside, we had a fight, and I haven't seen him since. When was that? Four nights ago. Do you know where he might be staying? No, I'm sorry. I thought he left. I told him I didn't want him here. I moved here to get away from him. Do you think he did this? We know he did, but we're still putting everything together. Any information you can provide would help. Associates, family. You're the only person we have that knows the suspect. Sure, if there's anything I can do to help. Thank you, Ms. D. How long have you known Joe? <laughs> Too long. Victoria, where are you? Come down. Please meet me by the river trail. You okay? Where's Yuri? He's in my room getting ready. We're leaving him a little bit. The police just came to my work and crushed me for an hour. Shit. They know it's him. We're leaving tonight. He's coming to stay with Claudia and I. He's gonna get cleaned up. I just hope it's not too late. I just have to move again. Are you sure? Maybe it'll die down. I started hunting again, Victoria. They think it's Yuri, but I'm on their radar. How many times does he have to kill me? Every time I think I have a life, he rips it away from me. Is it how it is for us? We can only live by destroying other lives around us. It is, for some. But you are different. Give it time, you'll find the balance. I just want to be normal. I was once, I just won what I had. You will find it. There are others out there like us and we're not all like Yura. <laughs> we're all bastards, Victoria. <laughs> we can get that way. It's true. What about this date you had? Sounds like it didn't go well either. <laughs> it went great. That's the problem. He's a genuinely good person. He's everything Yura isn't. So? Enjoy it. 
He's a doctor. Would you consider turning him? No. No way in hell. Especially not him. The man saves lives. What would he think of me? I've killed three since I met him. You? <laughs> On a day. He really lit your fire, didn't he? I'll be in touch. Thank you. You will find the life you are hoping for. Until then, we'll find some rich bastard and suck him dry. I might have to do that. Jura? Son of a bitch. I say, good shit, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it comes from the old country. Mm -hmm. 178 proof. Kills all the pain. Oh. Yeah. Hey, um, you don't think I'm an asshole too, do you? <laughs> uh. Of course you don't. Yeah. You get it, man. It just ain't the place for guys like us anymore, I guess. Yeah. Oh, man, look at us. Yeah. We created this, this whole world. Yeah. Now we're just hiding from it. Yeah. Fuck that shit, man, yeah, right? I know about you. Fuck that. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? Mm. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? here you wouldn't work or at home figured you'd come for your car sooner or later are you stalking me now nico I, he ran some tests tests on what you've got numerous blood types Raymond, don't face your skin cells appear to be hundreds of years old damn it Raymond, everything's why? been spinning around in my head all day you don't eat you've lived everywhere how long have you been alive Don't you know it's rude to ask a woman her age? You're a miracle, Nico. Lucas. There are families in there who would pray for what you have. I'm a curse of death. That's all I am. And I won't do that to you. Nico, please. If you were anyone else, I would have killed you already. Doctor. 
doctor. Seriously, it's a little boring, don't you think? <laughs> you piece of shit! Hey, let him turn or kill him. It's your choice. I should kill you! <laughs> yeah, cool. Why, Yuri, why do you do this to me? Because you weren't going to. Listen, I understand. You are not like I am. But I'm not all bad. I know I can't fix things. I just hope one day you... I just hope you can forgive me. Hey, he's hurting pretty bad. But there's a hospital right there. Don't worry, buddy. It's just a little prick, all right? You're gonna be fine. It's gonna be a shitty couple of weeks, but then you'll be good to go. Whole new man. Almost there. Hey, and you, don't worry. I'm just gonna clean up the rest of my mess here, and then I'm gonna get out of your hair. Let me see. Let me see. It was right. It's not that bad.
Yeah.